Thank you, President. Um, it's been such an interesting debate today, and I think we've heard a lot of talk, especially from Spanish colleagues, about the legalities and respecting democracy and the rule of law. Um, but really, is the answer to that using violent suppression or ag ignoring uh, the Catalonian people? Of course it's not. I, and I would echo the calls that we've heard today for dialogue. Now, I'm here representing Scotland, where I have a seat in our uh, national parliament, and I represent the party who campaigned for independence two years ago, but in very different circumstances to that which we saw in Catalonia on the 1st of October. And one thing that I took great exception to during our campaign, and what actually infuriated me, were the comments from other countries who felt it was their place and their right to comment on whether or not we should be an independent country. Because it's not for any one of us here to dictate to the people of Catalonia what we think their future should be. That's very much up to them. But it is our job and it's our responsibility to condemn the violence and brutality that we saw from Spain last week. And to be perfectly frank, the response from the EU institutions in that was very weak and very disappointing. We need to call that out and they need to call that out. Using rubber bullets, tear gas, attacks on emergency services on ordinary members of the public has no place in Spain and it doesn't have any place in Europe either. And it really flies in the face of everything we're up here to, uh, to uphold, democracy, human and civil rights. Now my party is holding its confidence this week in Glasgow and a motion regarding Catalonia was unanimously passed it asks that we support the right to self-determination and for people to choose the form of government best suited to their needs as an important international principle enshrined in the EU Charter. And notes the Edinburgh Agreement is an example of two governments with diametrically opposed views on independence coming together to agree a process that allowed the people to decide and calls upon the UN, EU and Council of Europe to act to mediate negotiations with the purpose of facilitating an agreed solution. I'm proud to support that uh, motion and I support the right of the Catalonian people to democratically decide their future. My party supports that right, my country supports that right, and the Committee of the Regions should also support that right. Thank you.